Let us continue. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they break not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side and forthwith came there out blood and water. And he that saw it bear record and his record is true. And he knoweth that he saith true. That ye might believe. Now, the notion that Jesus was already dead must be properly understood. Crucifixion is a slow death. And nothing was specifically done to Jesus to kill him. Or the other two, for that matter, that's why they were still alive. Jesus was speared only after he was thought to be dead. So this represented a misperception or a wrong assessment on the part of the satanic leaders in thinking that Jesus was dead. In its fulfillment, this means that the synagogue of Satan, the rulers of this satanic world, believed that its gross misrepresentation of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan was sufficient in thwarting Allah's plan to redeem his chosen people. However, they were mistaken. This is why in the Holy Quran, Allah states that Jesus was not dead as they thought. He was made to appear to them as dead. Allah made it so. So again, one of the soldiers stuck a spear in Jesus' side only after he thought Jesus was dead. This has general and specific meanings. Specifically, it refers to the attempt to kill the Honorable Louis Farrakhan when he was receiving prostate cancer treatment. They exposed him to an inordinate amount of radiation. And this caused him to have serious health problems to this day. And along the way, he had a near death experience. Now, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan has spoken publicly about this on many occasions. This experience, among other experiences, substantiated the reality that the Honorable Louis Farrakhan had given his life to redeem his people. This is what blood signifies because it is the life fluid. This is the true blood of the lamb, his way, his character, his integrity, his honesty, and his 100% commitment to serving Allah regardless to whom or what. Now symbolically, water represents knowledge and wisdom. The water gushing forth from the side of the Lamb of God, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, is the great wisdom of Allah born of his crucifixion, his extraordinary sacrifice. This wisdom is the means through which his people and humanity are redeemed to Allah. Continuing, John 19. For these things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled. A bone of him shall not be broken. And again, another scripture saith, they shall look on him whom they pierced. The writers of the New Testament consistently throughout the Gospels use the phrase that the scripture should be fulfilled, that the scripture might be fulfilled to infer that the gospel narratives fulfill the prophecies in the Old Testament. But again, Jesus of 2000 years ago was not the Messiah. The prophecy referring to the bones or the legs of Jesus not being broken is found in the book of Psalms. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of all of them. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. This scripture being fulfilled makes it emphatically clear that Allah, the Father, 
would not permit the death of the Messiah at the hands of his enemies. To the contrary, Allah intends to slay the wicked. This relates to the Passover, which again means catastrophic death for the Caucasian people. As it pertains to the prophecy of the Messiah being pierced, this is found in the book of Zechariah. And it's an apocalyptic prophecy, meaning the last days, horrific fire and brimstone prophecy. Let's consider it. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. And the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all nations that come against Jerusalem. And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and of supplications. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourning for his only son and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. Now, this prophecy specifically describes the life and destiny of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan whom the narrative of David prefigures. This is described in several books I've written, particularly the ones volume one and two, you remind me of David or part one and two. Now some religious scholars take mourning and bitterness to mean the death of the Messiah, the one Pierce. They believe that those looking upon the Messiah are mourning over his death. Yet it does not say that the Messiah was killed only pierced. This prophecy refers to the day of judgment. Again, it's apocalyptic. The people will suffer intense regret for having rejected the truth that the Messiah taught while he was among them. The bitterness that the people experience is from the divine wrath of God gripping them. This is why firstborn is used in this verse is also used in Exodus when it talked about the last plague death. So it relates to the Passover. So the people are not mourning over the Messiah. The hymn that they're mourning over is their loved ones being utterly destroyed. 